here is the bathroom floor as you can see I have two crack here small crack okay but this crack is enough to make this floor not even which means it's not really flat and so that's why I want to actually level it as much as I can okay and really what happened here in this floor that uh, the highest point is actually in this place okay and the lowest point is here it's the difference is almost quarter of an inch okay so before I'm going to apply the the leveler which I purchased from McPay but I'll show it after that I'm going to prime it okay here's the prime that I'm using and as I told you before you have to check that the date and data here the nine here okay it's a 19 2019 it's very important that is not actually expire and if you flip this one here you can see all the instruction okay um, it's difficult to see but there is an instruction here okay here's this instruction how to prepare it's very easy actually you actually mix it and here you mix it for three minutes in the lower speed okay but what I want to add here also because this is a post concrete the manufacturer recommended to put between one or two part water and one part primer so I'm going to use one and a half part water and one part primer I just want to say a couple of words about the uh, primer uh, it's very important to apply primer because the primer actually seal the concrete floor so hair cannot grow through the concrete uh, through the quick leveler uh, the second reason is that the uh, primer creates a layer that the quick leveler will stick to if you're not going to use this uh, to primer if you don't going to prime the concrete what's going to happen is that the quick leveler will be disintegrated and all the work that you did will, uh, will be for nothing okay so the first thing i'm going to do okay i'm going to open this open already the cover you can see it's sealed that's very important okay i remember it's is the one that is not expired what i'm going to do is like to cut it here with a knife okay and you can see you have a purple color you have the smell it's probably a the smell of uh, polymer very thick polymer here what i'm doing i'm actually using a container here as you can see this is a container and i'm going to fill it up i'm not going to fill everything i'm just going to use probably let's say i'm going to use 16 ohms you can see here 16 ohms it's actually almost a half a liter Okay, so I'm going to use 16 ohms. Remember, I still need to put water and almost 16 ohms a little bit. Okay, so what I'm using here, I'm using the 16 ohms of, of, as you can see here, 16 ohms of uh, uh, primer, which is smell like polymer. And the most important thing is to close it immediately after that. Okay. And as you can see, I'm going to take this and I'm putting here. This is a new bucket. Remember, it should be a new bucket. And I'm going to pour it inside here. Okay. Now what I have to do, I have to put 16 times one and a half ohms. It's actually 24 ohms of clear water. I'm going to mix it with uh, 24 ounces of water, actually three quarter of a liter of water. So I'm just going to pour it slowly to the to the polymer, to the primer, okay? And put it in. Okay, now I have to mix it for three minutes in a low speed. So here what I'm doing, I'm actually mixing it with a mixer here, kind of a slow, but it has to be mixed for three minutes. i show you the result after I end to mix it. So here is the mix after, 
If you look here, here's the mix, that's the way it looks after uh, three minutes of mixing it. Okay, so it's still look pinky, it should be look pinky like that, but it's mixed together with the water. So actually what we have here, we have a three quarter of a liter plus half a liter of polymer, three quarter of a liter of water. So it's actually what we have here, it's one and a quarter of a liter of a substance here, so we can actually apply it on the floor now. So the way to apply this uh, primer, tea primer, okay, from a pay, is actually using a roller, 3 8 of an inch roller, as you can see here, a roller. Uh, it's a 3 8 of an inch, okay, not more than that, and apply it on the floor here. I'm not sure only all of it, but let's try because it seems to me a lot. Let me try doing it. I'm going to take this roller here, okay, and just put okay, you really want to put it all over the floor. Okay, so you see what I'm doing here? I'm actually seal the floor. It's going to stick to the floor for at least 24 hours. So remember, you have to put the leveler within a 24 hours. You have to put a little amount, remember. And you like painting a wall, you see, with a W shape. I have a little bit more polymer here. And I'm going to put it here. So that's it, it's done actually. Okay, now you need to wait for at least five hours, okay, that it will dry. So you can come tomorrow and that's the way it looks, by the way. In Putting the the leveler, you remember, you have to put the level within 24 hours after you put the primer. So that's the way the flow look like after I apply the primer in. T primer on it, you can see. Remember, we need to wait until it will dry. Next, a couple of hours. Usually between three to five hours.